Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Blessings to you, family. Blessings to you, child of God. I welcome you again to this prophetic session. God bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord gave me this prophetic word for someone. He says they betrayed you and this is why. Before I go on to explain this prophetic word and who it is meant for, so that you too can see if the prophetic word is for you or not, I would like us to read a scripture from the Bible. Let us read from Genesis chapter 9 verse 23. The Bible says, But Shem and Japheth, okay, let's read from verse 22. Ham, the father of Canaan, saw his father naked and told his two brothers outside. But Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it across their shoulders. Then they walked in backward and covered their father's naked body. Hallelujah. This is the story of Noah and his sons. The Bible says Noah got drunk and he laid naked in his tent. One of his sons came and saw him and instead went out to tell people that this is what is happening to their father. The other two sons brought a cloth without looking at their father and covered him. The people who betrayed you, it's because they came close to you and they saw your weaknesses. They came close to you and they saw the battles you were fighting and because you brought them that close, they went outside and told other people about the challenges that you were facing. Everybody has sacred battles they are fighting. Everybody has a challenge that they are struggling to combat. If you let the wrong people come into your circle, if you expose your lives, challenges and the things that you're going through to the wrong people they are going to betray you yes they have betrayed you before but god is bringing this word to you as a warning so that you will sit up so that your eyes will be opened and you will not let that happen again Noah's three sons one person saw their father's nakedness and decided to go announce it outside but the other two decided to cover their father's nakedness Surround yourself with people who can cover your weaknesses while helping you to be strong. Surround yourself with people who will not go out there telling people about the challenges that you are facing. Instead, they will hold your hands and pray with you and pray for you and trust God with you that you will be able to overcome that challenge and that season in your life. So why is this word coming to you at this time? Because God wants you to be careful not to make that mistake again. The Bible says that Delilah kept asking Samson, what is the source of your strength? Not because she wanted to help him preserve it. Not because she wanted to help him protect it. But because she wanted to destroy it. And Samson gave her that information. And that was the end of Samson's ministry. Yes, it's okay to make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. But there are some mistakes that are too costly. That mistake cost Samson's assignment. He was caught by the same enemies he was sent to fight. So this word is coming to you so that your eyes will be open, so that you will not put your trust again in the wrong people, so that you will be careful the people you share your information with. Be careful with the people that are in your inner circle. Pray about everything and it's only by the leading of the Holy Spirit that you should open up to somebody i pray that god will guide you i pray that god will give you wisdom and i pray that god will heal you from the hurt that these people placed in your heart by their betrayer i pray that god will make you more sensitive i pray that he will make you more alert to know when there is a wrong person in your midst and i pray for you that if there is any agent if there is any monitoring spirit if there is anybody in your circle that is there to get information to destroy you god will expose them in the name of jesus god will expose them in the name of jesus whatever their plan is against you it will fail in jesus mighty name may god open your eyes and may he help you not to find yourself in that kind of situation again hallelujah father most high we thank you for this prophetic word thank you for this 
prophetic eye opener. Thank you for this word that has come to open our eyes and to help us to understand the kind of people that we should surround ourselves with. Give us grace and wisdom even as we go about our daily activities in Jesus' name. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and may he be gracious to you. May our good Lord look kindly on you and grant you his peace. Shalom.